Hello, hello, my scrapbooking friends. I am coming to you with the final flip through of my December daily. I am so excited that it is completed. Um, I believe all but one little part, and I still just haven't printed out one tag, um, I believe, but everything else is done. Um, oh, and the cover plate. I haven't done that yet either. Um, I have several cover plates to do for my albums though, so. It is what it is. Uh, she did get chunky, uh, but she did fit all in one album, which means I have a second green album for another date for something else. I don't know exactly yet because um, I did end up buying a second one just in case, um, in case because I felt like they were going to go out of stock this year. <laughs> um, I don't know if it ever did. Um, I never went back and checked the scrapbook.com listing. Um, but, uh, that is where my album came from. Um, since this is a velvet type, oh gosh, should, you guys can, should be able to feel this. Um, I didn't embellish cause it is also on the inside. Uh, so no embellishing of the album happened. Um, so we'll move right into it. Uh, I am going to do this one, a chatty one, and then an also one just to music where I'll just do a simple flip through. So if you aren't into the chatty, chatty ones, then you can go and watch those too. All right, so we started off with um, most of the supplies are Allie Edwards. There are a few other supplies from Tracy Reed, Ellie Studio, and Paper Person, like very little bit from Paper Person, but a few, a little, it's, it's some bits from Paper, um, from paper Person. Um, yeah, but most of it is from Allie Edwards and a lot of it is either a digital from this year's kit or physical from like 2021's kit because that's the last time I got a physical and um, I was really trying to use my physical kits this year. So, all right, so here is my reason why. We just printed out a little picture of the boys. I actually might print this picture out again and put it somewhere in the album bigger. The calendar didn't get finished. I don't know if I'll go back and finish that, honestly. It is what it is. <laughs> um, oops, it's not the biggest thing to me. Advent calendars with a little flip out here. Um, just the story of, of course, our advent calendars on day one. Um, a story of our 25 days of Christmas and going to get peppermint shakes, which ended up being one of our favorites other than Potbelly's eggnog shakes. And that didn't even get a story. It should. Day three was actually, it happened to be two things of Chick-fil-A, even though it happened, this happened like a week before December, <laughs> but this is actually, um, the story of my son's birthday and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we actually then went out again on the third to celebrate. This picture was from his birthday though. So it's kind of crazy. And I didn't realize I was doing two pictures of Chick-fil-A until after when I like went and edited the story, I was like, Oh, well, you know, we don't even eat at Chick-fil-A that much, honestly. So anyways, yes. Yeah, so, um, just a story of my oldest, um, 16th birthday. Day four, um, I used the wreaths along with some mica spray um, and to document my son's um, fundraiser at Culver's. Day five is our gingerbread day and each kid has a, which is where I needed to do one more tag. Each kid has a tag um, with their initial on the back and then a picture of them with their gingerbread. And then it opens up to a full picture of them at their, at the table. So I love that picture. They're all laughing so hard. It's so fun. Um, Ooh, looks like we need a little bit more tape there. We'll go back through day six. Um, it was ended up being, we just did a real quick peppermint bark day for our 25 days of Christmas. Um, and then it just so happened to pop up on my memories of them doing it in 2017. So I figured I would do it then and now, um, and then I just did, this just sticks in here with the hearts so that you can pull it out and see that other picture. Day seven was a shopping trip with my husband. Um, and, um, so I didn't take many pictures. Oh, I got to do some journaling. 
I'll remember to do that after this video. I need to go back and do some journaling. Um, but there will be journaling on the back of that. Um, and then just our festive drinks that we had afterwards. Day eight was a um, trip to Detroit with my friend for her birthday. And we went to a bunch of holiday pop-up bars that we've been wanting to go to. And they're just a bunch of tags. This one is from Tracy Reed with her festive kit and just um, some journaling on one of the tags. It, all of her like currently um, tags were so great. So day nine was just a regular day in December. Um, and my son was doing basketball. There seems to be some adhesive and that just flips out to see the whole thing. Um, I just did a little flip out there. Day 10 was a bag that I kind of turned, everybody was like turning bags and stuff, you know, into pockets. Um, I tried a stencil, didn't work out the best with the, um, like grip paste from Tim, um, Tim, I just said Tim Hortons. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah, some grip paste or whatever from Ranger and, <laughs> um, and then some stamping, of course. Um, and yeah, it worked perfect. Their Christmas lists are in there and all tucked away. On the back of it, I just did more stamping. Um, oh, I just did more stamping and then I used a wreath. It's just a filler page pretty much. And that's, I finished it like that just because I just didn't have anything to go on the back of that. Day 11 was just another ordinary day. Um, I got behind on Christmas shopping this year, even though we went shopping real early. I kind of got behind on my boys, so lots of packages were showing up, and this was a lot from, like, um, Cyber Monday and all that kind of stuff showing up. So I just wrote a little bit about coming home every day to piles of packages and all that kind of stuff at the back door. Day 12 was um, a couple of stories, about one about getting my son a new phone. It was supposed to be a Christmas present, but his broke conveniently two weeks before. And then um, just about our Grinch week, day 13 was all about all um, the handmade Christmas cards that I had made this year. And I just wrote a little bit about that. Um, this page was pretty much like the page that I made the year before. Um, but I love the way that this came out. Day 14, lots of like story, like stories, little stories about the, those days. Um, and then... It was a mix between that and then big stories of like big events that were happening. So uh, day 14 was just a story about my kid getting behind in, a, in some work before Christmas and him having to spend a lot of time at that dinner table trying to get it done um, and him not being so happy with me. <laughs> so a little bit about that. Day 15, um, I wanted to get through some of the phrase stickers. So I did a whole tag of them. And this was just about the crazy warm weather that we have been having in the month of December. And um, like we were having like 50 degree days and then a picture of a sunset along with a screenshot. So that was fun. And then just a little bit of journaling about it and a couple of tags. That was of course pretty much copied right from Ellie Edwards. On the back of this was one of our one and only family pictures. Usually I have tons of family pictures and I just, we did not take them this year, unfortunately. It was a little bit of a weird Christmas. I mean, we have more, but we usually are taking them all the time. Um, I didn't love the picture, so I was hiding it with a little bit, but as long as it's in there, but hide it a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much just the story of going to my dad's Christmas and then not getting a family picture and taking it when we get home. Um, then my mom's Christmas was the next day and a good family picture. Um, and then pockets, these are pockets that pull out. They're a little tight though. Um, but there are pockets of the kid or pictures of the kids and presents and then journaling, um, about games that we played and all that kind of stuff. So there's that. 
wrapping picture, of course. I got new wrapping paper this year that matched my Santa tree. Um, so a little story about that. Day 19, which is one of my favorite spreads. Um, lots of flip outs was the day we went to Detroit. And there we go, all the flip outs. Loved this. Lots of inspiration from um, their Rye Pie um, for that one, but loved that. Oh, this is just a big full page picture um, of all the kids in Detroit next to the Detroit lights and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't embellish it. It's just in here. It's what I, I wanted it in here. That's as much as that needed to happen. This was an extra spread at the end. Um, I had just had a back of that. It just didn't work out. Like I didn't have anything for the back of this. Um, so I had a picture of my nephew, my son, and his best friend trying to figure out how to wrap a present for my son's girlfriend. And I just thought it was hilarious. I'm like, how many teenagers does it take to wrap a present? <laughs> so trying to bust that stash um, a lot this year. So yeah, this is a really old transparency and it fits my tree perfectly in this picture. I mean, just like that's so perfect. So we used it this year as like a little divider and then the, the story of my Christmas tree, um, which I loved this year. I, th oh, there's also process videos for almost every page in here. I think other than this page, cause somehow this one, I don't know what happened either. I just didn't get it up or it got, I lost the footage or something along those lines, but this one is about the only one that didn't get in there. Um, there is process videos and I will list those all in the description below. Um, but this was cookie day, um, and it's just like a little water, um, fall of all of the kids' pictures with their cookies. Boop, 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 and boop. There we go. Full page picture of me and my kiddos at the Christmas lights. We do this every year. Um, yeah, it's just a same old story. That's why it doesn't have much journaling. It's just literally traditions that we do every year. Uh, my oldest son came down with a little cold right before Christmas. One of my kids is always sick right before Christmas. I mean, days within Chris before Christmas, and it was my oldest at this time. I was running a little bit of a fever, and um, I had noticed since we had had my nephews over so much that my kids hadn't done their traditional, like, sleep underneath the tree um, nights. And I asked my little one if he wanted to, and he was like, no, I want to just sleep in my bed tonight since he hadn't slept in his bed. Uh-oh, maybe I lost a star up there. Um, and my oldest was like, I want to. And I'm like, oh, my 16 year old still wants to do this. I think he was just trying to find comfort and when he was not feeling well and all that kind of stuff. So I loved it. Uh, that's also another picture in all of my, uh, albums. Um, and then day 24 is just, um, we do, we play Monopoly pretty much every Christmas Eve at this point, the last like three or four, or a board game, I should say. Um, so I just did a little felt um, packet and then a, the store, you know, the little story and then foil quilled. Use my foil quill a ton in this album. Yay. I need to start pulling it out for every day, um, but I definitely use it a lot during my Christmas or my December daily. So day 24. And then day 25 is a Christmas morning. I used a color cast designs, um, piece that I have had in my stash again for forever. And then created a flip out of just a picture of each one of us opening up a gift up at the top and then them getting their boarding passes to go on our cruise, um, in March. So that was their other big gift along with, you know, their, um, every day, you know, their other gifts or whatever, but that was their big gift that they got at my mom's house with us all going on a cruise. And then, um, just a picture of the mess, the crazy mess Christmas. Like I just, I take a thousand pictures, but like somehow they just never make it into my December daily. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe one day I'll go back and start filling those in. But I think by the time I get here, I'm like, I'm over it. Um, so 
yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my 25 days. One day I'll go to 31, but usually the week after Christmas, we literally do nothing around here. Our, Chris, our December is packed full, as, as you can see. So that week after Christmas is nothing too spectacular. So thank you guys all for following along on this journey and commenting on all of my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you've gotten this far on this one, definitely put done, done, done in the comments below. Um, and let me know if you guys are done with your December daily. It is now February. So I know a lot of people try and get it done by the end of January. Um, or did you just put it away and you'll get it out to be done by December for next year? That is totally okay too. I've done it that way also. So thank you guys so much. Talk to you soon.